Hello, I'm Stephanie Schweigart, and I'm going to be showing you how to create a strip view today. Before we get started, I would just like to give you a little preview of what we're going to produce today. We are going to be adding a strip view to a cross-section layout like you see here. Here in the scene, I have my model with a few drill holes in the scene as well. I'm going to create a cross-section in the Sections, Plans, and Contours folder. Pulling up my parameters for my section, I can see more specifically what I'm creating. In order to create a strip view, you'll want to make sure that your dip is at 90 degrees. It needs to be a completely vertical section in order for this to work. So in my section layout specifically, I can make adjustments as I would normally for my cross section. To create a strip view, I'm going to have to navigate to the plan views folder. We're going to right click on this plan views folder and you should have an add strip view option to select. When you've added the strip view, it should appear above the section that you've created and you may need to reorganize the section layout to better suit this new addition to the layout. If you click on the strip view object in the section layout tree, you'll then open the properties panel for the strip view and be able to edit several properties. You can change the parameters for strip width and distance from the section. And you can also edit the appearance of the section line. If you'd like to add drill hole traces, you can also add these in the drill hole set dropdown just below here. Anything that's been evaluated in your overall cross section will appear in this drill hole set dropdown. The tabs for the X axis and Y axis here contain the settings to change the grid lines, axis labels, and ticks. Another priority here is to add a map inside the strip view. Inside the strip view object, there are a number of folders. We are going to right click on the maps folder and in here you can select whatever map you'd like to display on your strip view. This could be a geological map or an orthophoto or any map imagery you have really. Let's add our drill collars while we're at it. Let's navigate to the points folder the one inside the strip view object, and we'll right click on it and select add points. And then you can choose which data set you'd like to add. Your drill color should be in there. In the next window, you'll need to select which drill holes you would like to display. You can filter these by some minimum distance to the section plane. Keep in mind this number is in whatever units your project is in, as LeapFrog is completely unitless. And in filtering by minimum distance, you may just want to keep in mind the width of the strip view that you're creating. In the properties panel for the colors object, the shape, color, and even the size of the color points can be changed here. So maybe I'll make mine a little diamond, maybe make it a little bit bigger. And you'll see these appear on the strip view in the layout as well. And then another important object for us to edit is the north arrow. So select the north arrow object within the strip view to choose from a variety of different north arrow options. I don't know if this happened for you, but my north arrow is really tiny by default, so I'm just going to resize it in the layout. And the north arrow automatically points north, so we don't have to rearrange it in any way. We're just simply styling it here. And now I'm just going to save and export my cross-section so that I can add it to my report. 